Welcome to Good Mythical More. State by state, we're gonna look at some attractions and see how popular they are. I can still smell those intestines on my fingers. Yeah, I know, I've got like this uh, breath mint. Rub some mint on it. No, you have your own. Oh. You were giving a mint. But first, I'd we're like going to donate $1,000 to Urgent Action Fund for Women's Human Rights to aid in their mission to partner with women's movements worldwide to support women's human rights defenders striving to create cultures of justice, equality, and peace. Please join us in giving at urgentactionfund.org. Thank yeah, you for my, being your mythical best. My hand stinks. Donating mm. to an incredible... From putting that... Timely cause. Around my finger. Hello, boys. Hello, Stevies. You think you know attractions? You think you know states? Yep. You think you know numbers and such? Smell my pinky. Does it? Is it gone? Is the smell gone? Smells like a pinky now. No, it doesn't. Well, you can't smell it. I'm, I, I, I've, uh, I've overdone my myself today. I've lost, lost perspective. Is there one of those Stevie that you wish you would have been able to eat? Mm. You like? Uh, yeah, the, the birria dog. The, the that the I, I like. What? I thought that the Cracker Barrel was the best, but the more I think about it, I did, think that one was the did best. Did you ever go to Cracker Barrel when you go back to the States? North Cracker No, I believe I've. Been, I always confuse Cracker Barrel with the other place. Oh, don't, don't, don't you say it. What other place? Uh, there is no other place. I thought there was something with country in it. You are talking about country crock? That's a butter. No, okay, that, that's a margarine. There is um, a, there's a knockoff place. There's a country buffet. There's nothing like Cracker Barrel with a gift shop though. Yeah, I, I've definitely been to Cracker Barrel, but I believe it was like a road trip situation. It was and certainly not a like living in North Carolina. The situation. food is, le is is legit, and I'm saying that from somebody who's from the South. Uh, you know, it's not as good yeah. as your grandma, but it's good it's, stuff. It's legit food. Like they get Southern food <clears throat> right, and yeah, because Southern people eat there all the time. I mean, it's like that's proof enough. Yeah, it's actually Cracker Barrel is the number one most visited attraction. <laughs> In North Carolina. It could be. Out there at the Carolina Pottery, that's where we would always meet Christie's parents before we started going to the Outback. Like, it is not, in fact, because that's my first question for you. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you a state and then three popular attractions, and then you have to guess what is the most popular. And, of course, the first one is North Carolina. And your options are... Emerald Point. <laughs> No. Your options are... What I know. It's Emerald crazy. Point? It's crazy. How could it not be? The Four Seasons Mall. Um, the Biltmore Estate. These are places in Stevie's hometown except for Biltmore Estate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Biltmore uh, Estate, you probably, no, just, you probably no, just got it you're right. you're missing it. Although Biltmore, yeah, you would think. Well, it's going to be... It's going to be the lighthouse, or the famous one. Okay, Adams. so uh, the Outer Adams. Banks Outer is Banks. an option. Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Oh gosh. Oh, okay, that's Or Carowinds in I, now, Charlotte. Carowinds is half in Charlotte, half in South Carolina, is so it? So we not? only claim half of that. You can only get half those points, so that one's knocked off. Well, uh, and also technically the Great Smoky Mountains National Park is in Is in Tennessee is and other yeah. places. So so we have two parts. Well, let me just but, say Yeah. Great Smoky Mountains National Park probably gets it's got to be that one. More visitors just because it's so easily accessible. The Outer, Outer Banks, Banks is even hard. when you're from North Carolina, you hardly ever make it out there. I've only been there uh, twice, maybe just once. But it's so amazing, and everyone that I it's meet cool. out it's from cool. out here, they want to go out. They there. say that they, if they've been to North Carolina, they've either been to Asheville or the Outer Banks. I think Asheville's probably in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Mm. I'm gonna go with the Outer Banks. I'm going out on a limb. I'm going out on a little strip of land that is slowly falling into the sea. There are certain points where, where you're driving on a two-lane road and either side is like the, the sand from the beach washes over the road into the sound on the other side. It's like, I mean, it's like 10 feet of land. And it's going away real fast. It's awesome and sad. I'm saying the National Park. Do you, so like what kind of quantities you think we're talking? Oh, how many people? The number of people, people who visit the Outer Bank, well, first of all, this makes me think it is the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. But annually, annually. Annually, uh, I'm going to say you get Six about. Six million people in the National Park. 
I was going to say four. I was going to say four million. Four million people go to the Outer Banks every year, but 14 million oh, go to so the Oh, so I was Great matching mine to the Outer Banks because it takes a while to get 14 million go to the Great Smoke yeah. because it's so big because they're counting Tennessee. Some people are just going, are. trying to get to the other side. Two million people go to Carowinds. Two million? Yeah. That seems small now. I don't know what it means. Carowinds isn't that great. The best ride at Carowinds. That's not the same as, uh, yeah, no, Bush Gardens is a different. Bush Gardens. I thought Bush Gardens was fancier. I think Bush Gardens as a, is, is as fancier. a kid. Yeah. They're gar- they have more gardens. It feels Because you a had to go nicer. to, like, Virginia to get into it. Mm hmm. Or Tampa. I had both brochures. Tampa's fancy. I had both brochures. All right, let's hear it. And then what's New the next one? Jersey. New Jersey. New um, Jersey. Um, so you've got Atlantic mind? City. It's got to be Atlantic okay, City. Okay, Atlantic but, City is but, one of them, but, yeah. You've got the uh, the boardwalk. Um, of Atlantic City. That's one. That's one. Oh. Atlantic City boardwalk is one. What else is in New Jersey? Um, <laughs> I'm telling you. Like, uh, what is that? Like part of the uh, the part where you can get close and see Manhattan, that part. People people yeah, who work Liberty, in New York City. You Liberty can see, State Park. You can see which, Manhattan. Uh, you can see the Statue of Liberty. Yep. Is another. Okay. Like, I don't want to pay to go all the way, but I'll go to Jersey. And the third thing is like this this niche uh, paint supply store <laughs> that where you can get like canvases and art supplies. Probably not. It's like it it was it was on Yelp and people started talking about it and somebody who sold like trinkets on Etsy like shouted out the store and then all of a sudden people just started going there. Sounds yep. very plausible. In droves. This was super close, but it's Six Flags. Great Adventures is the is the third one. In Jackson Township. Liberty State Park. I mean Atlantic City Boardwalk, is that place getting tired now? I believe so, but I still believe it gets a lot of people. There's just much, so much more capacity in Atlantic City for people than there is at Liberty State Park. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go with C, Atlantic City Boardwalk. But do people need to go to the Liberty State Park in order to get to the Statue of Liberty? Because I think I did that from New York City. But when you're on I that little island that Lib- that the Statue of Liberty is on, like think about how many people were there when you. Oh, were there. that. Oh. Oh, you're talking about no, no, no. The island that the statue is on is in Jersey. Well, I, first of all, maybe. No, this but is... I'm saying if you're saying you have to get go there to get there, which you don't, because a lot don't. of people go from Manhattan. I'm saying the destination itself doesn't have that many people. Like when you're on that island, there's like a couple hundred people, maybe mm. at the most, right? It's bigger than that, but, but like, I'm gonna say Atlantic City Boardwalk. Atlantic City Boardwalk. ACB. Okay, it is by far Atlantic City Boardwalk. Yeah. But how many? People, well, if 14 million of, people go to the Great Smoky yeah. National Park, 11 million. 30 million go to Atlantic City. 27 million people yes. every year. Right. Was I rounded it up. Right? I rounded up, okay? The casinos. It's a, it's a high populated area. Have I mean, you ever been? There's people up there. No. No. Have we been to Atlantic Are City? Are you sure we haven't? Because we I remember did going on that to, Great American Road Trip. I remember walking around and we didn't make a video there. Maybe we did. I think we went to the Atlanta City Boardwalk. I think maybe we did. It's very memorable. Yeah. No, you know what we did? We started to make a video on that boardwalk. It didn't make it into the finals. Yeah, what happened? We realized we were in Atlantic City. There was no there was no video to be made. Yeah, right. Huh. Um, okay, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna give you two attractions that are quite popular in their two different states, and then you have to guess which is more visited every year. Okay. So we have, ooh, this is exciting. The L.L. Bean flagship store in Maine or uh, the Space Center Houston in Texas. Been there. Yep. And I also purchased some L.L. Bean clothing off the internet. That, does that mean you went to Maine, though? I've been to Maine, but I haven't been to the flagship store. But I would like to go. There's hardly anybody in Maine. On my road trip with Locke from Maine to Miami... We went to Portland, which is the most populated part of Maine. I didn't see LL or Bean. And I didn't see that many people. To, I mean, Houston's got a lot more going on. Yeah, but when we did the tour, there was hardly anybody it there. It was pre pandemic, and there was hardly anybody there. 
Cause this is, and it, I think people well, just there's a there's a museum part though. We got kind of special access, like we were, well, you, we, know, we, you know, we got into like they let us sit inside the lunar module. Yeah, we sat. You we just sat can't in just the, um, get a ticket and do that. We made we made a video of that, right? Isn't yeah. it on this channel? But then we realized we were in Houston and just just kidding. It was great. I mean, uh, being in the cockpit of that of the space shuttle um, that was an actual space shuttle that, feel that then became. Like the training, you know, the astronauts were sitting in it to like know exactly what it felt like to be in the space shuttle. And we sat in those two seats. Stevie, you were there. No. No, she wasn't. <laughs> that was a tour stop. Stevie, we I, didn't we FaceTime you from in there? We you said, probably felt like I was there because didn't we I, think about I was you? There before we took a little after. photo and said, we, "Wish you." We were thought here. about you. Jenna was I think there. Jenna was there. Jenna was there. I'm totally different person than Stevie. Right. You're both individuals. Yep, that's true. that's true. And I'm not getting you confused. That is I knew that you were there. I am going to say the LL Bean flagship store. I'm going to say Space Center. It is the LL Bean, Bean flagship store. Okay, let's guess how many people. Because and, people and are I'll just... say this is my hint. There's twice as many people that go to the flagship store than to the Space Center. I mean, six thousand. It it's it's a day. I mean. It's less than two million. For, for LL Bean? Bean? Yeah, it's just two million people. It is not less than two million. It's three? It's three million. That means more people go to LL Bean in Maine than they go to Carowinds in Charlotte every year. One well, million. Well, they got it LL Bean. It's free, and what else is there around there in Maine? Maine is beautiful. Well, I love it there. I didn't mean to... Disappoint you. <laughs> what is the name of the, Maine? Is the what state? The show me state? Or is that Missouri? What is Maine? What is Maine? You know what? Well, show me your lumberjack. Where they're about to tell us that. Um, you know what? One of the things that we like to do about every year is we like to ask y'all some questions so we can better serve you, so we can give you the content that you want. We can give you the merch and items and experiences that you want, but the only way to find out what you want is for you to tell us about yourself. We call it the mythical census, and we're inviting you to go over to mythicalcensus.com to fill it out. And you know what? It's important. Because that information is helpful for us and for you, you're gonna receive a special store discount for mythical.com if you go over there and take your precious time to fill out the census. It's not a lot of time, but it is a lot of fun, and it's helpful. It's important. The Pine Tree State. Wasn't well, that North Carolina? Um, no. The North Maine. Carolina is the Pine State, the but not pine the Pine state. Tree State. Is it Alabama? No, huh? they're talking about Maine, dude. Oh, <laughs> Maine? That's not the game we're playing. North Carolina is the pine tree state? No, it's pine the pine state. state. I mean, the pine state? Really? It's also first in flight, Ohio. I don't, yeah, I think We it, don't care where you're from. We care where it's done, son. Ha <laughs> ha! The, the Tar Heel state. The Tar Heel yeah, state. Yeah, we don't acknowledge The that. pine state. We don't acknowledge oh, so you, state. So because you don't acknowledge uh -huh. it, you've renamed it the pine state. The birthplace of Link. <laughs> yep, that's true. Okay, the French Quarter in Louisiana, which we've definitely been to. Yep. Or... It's hot down there. When it gets hot, it gets hot, y'all. We had a fun time down there. Ooh, I, my sweat was sweating down there. The Stevie, we, you were there. Uh, that one I was she, there that for, That was yes. her, for sure. Uh, or the Grand Canyon, and, and specifically in Arizona, I guess. Or something. Good Lord. Okay, so the, the French Quarter is so much more accessible than the Grand Canyon. I mean, when you... At any given time in the French Quarter, like during Mardi Gras, as an example, so, I mean, it's just there's just it's there's never there's no a point contest. where there's that many people in the Grand Canyon. But the Grand Canyon is so large. Yeah, but I thought for some reason it 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 it, it dumped itself out of Arizona, but I guess it doesn't. The Grand Canyon moved. <laughs> the Grand Canyon dumped itself out. I thought for, it I, dumped in itself my mind out. it was. In multiple, like in, in like a it, you know a border situation. I think it's close to Nevada. It's close. Uh, uh, no, it's, it's 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 Arizona. Everything is telling me French Quarter, but it's got to it's got to be the New Orleans. I, I believe Orleans. it's great. I think it's the Grand Canyon because of the it's the area and people are just spread out no all way. over the place. There's no way. 
There's no one way. of these places has twice as many visitors as the other every year. Yeah, there's just it's the French Quarter. I think it's the Grand Canyon. Because people just like. Dr- getting drunk and walking but it's, around. But it's small. It's a quarter. They can't find... The, they yeah, get, think about Americans for a second. They you get in Americans there and they can't find go their get way drunk out? Or go see a beautiful landscape. Oh, you're going you're French Quarter? Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, okay. So twice as many people, and you're saying that yeah. 14 million people would go to the Great Smoky National Park. Now, it's bigger in, and there's a much more concentrated population around that. But I got to say, I think that 12 million people go to the Grand Canyon, which means 22, I'm going to, not 24, 22 million people go to the French Quarter every year. Mm, Half those. So only 5 million people go to the Grand Canyon every year. I'm so disappointed in you, America. the French Quarter. Have you been to the Grand Canyon besides that time we went? Uh, You were going to go, but you never went again. I think yeah, see, we've we been went, to the French Yeah, because quarter, we got snowed out. It was so it was so snowy. Yeah, there was blizzard conditions when me and Locke went back. through, so we had to go down to Tucson. I want to go back. I want to I want to take a mule. I've never been to the Grand Canyon, mostly cuz I didn't know where it was apparently. Well, you're twice as likely to have gone to the French Quarter than the Grand Canyon. Check. If you wait long enough, the Grand Canyon will dump out. And it'll come to you. Yeah, that's right. It'll dump right out. <laughs> and one day it'll dump out into the French Quarter. Let me tell you, stuff was dumping out in the French Quarter when we were there. <laughs> yeah, everybody's everybody on the curbs just dumping it out. Yeah. What a place. Uh, Magic Kingdom at Disney World in Florida. That gets a crap ton of people. Let me tell you or right now. The Mall of America in Minnesota. Magic that was Kingdom, bad. man. Minnesota. Good Lord. Can you imagine how many people America. are at Disney World every single day? I mean, I bet you there's 40 million people who go to Disney World every year. The Mall of America was at one point the largest mall in America. That's probably too many. Well, Almost and specifically Magic Kingdom. Not, oh, specifically not, Magic Kingdom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight million people a year. Uh, mall of America. Man, there might be more. Minnesota, Minnesota. There's more than 8 million that go to the Magic, Magic Kingdom? Kingdom. I bet. Well, because if you go to Disney World, you're probably going to go to Magic Kingdom, so it's probably 19 million. I think the, I think the answer is the Mall of America because it's there's not any that's where everybody goes. Nothing else to do. The cold the cold months of the year. I think it's Magic Kingdom and I think it's 19 million. There's like 8 stories to the Mall of America. How many stories does Magic Kingdom have? I don't know. There's a lot of stories. All the Disney movies. Each one of those is a wonderful story. I'm going out on a limb with Mall of America. Does it count? Do B stories count? Because okay, that's twice so as many. Okay, so you said 19 million at, at Magic Kingdom. It's 20 million at hey, Magic hey, Kingdom. Hey, 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 hey I said though. Eight million at first. I said, it's, but then I adjusted when she said. Well, then I thought about it more. I said 19. 40 million go to Mall of America Holy every year. What? Yeah. Y'all Minnesotans need to... Because it gets cold up there. You have to be inside. You, you have to go to the mall. mall. There's 18 stories in that mall. They don't even leave their house to go to the mall. Everyone has a little tunnel that goes right. directly from their front door to the Mall of America. They're like hamsters right. going through little... You've seen... You've been to Minneapolis. They've got little hamster things, and they go from place yeah, to place. Yeah. And they've, they've moved hamster all those tunnels. directly to all the doors of everyone. Okay, right. do you want one more? Yes. This is, I, this is very fun. Uh, oh Sometimes man. they'll give I, you, I a, they'll, they'll inoculate, not inoculate you, they'll, uh, they'll give you an injection. In, incapacitate. And you'll just like. And they put you in a ball and roll you to the mall. They'll put you in like a twilight state. And then they'll they'll send you through tighter chutes. And then you wake up in the Mall of America. And they do, America. sometimes they do knee surgery if you need it. Right, while you're Because a lot of people need knee and shoulder surgery and they don't realize it. While you're incapacitated, they check you out with an MRI. Right. You wake up in the mall. The of tunnel America. is an MRI. It's very loud, but nobody hears it because of the blizzard conditions. Minnesota's great. That's why everybody's going to the mall for the joint surgeries. Yeah. Getting stuck in the snow. Okay, this one's really tough. The Las Vegas Strip in Nevada. Dang, there's a lot of freaks out there. Or Times Square in New York. Who really, who really likes Vegas here? Y'all, anybody like, I just don't, okay, okay. Oh, fa- of course, Fancher. Chris Fancher loves <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. He's like. Uh, 
We well, you know Lil John was saying it's like uh, Belize is overrated. You just need to go to Vegas. Lil John said that. Yeah. Well, dang it, that changes everything. Belize is overrated. Just go to Las Vegas. That's what he. That's what he said. So when Belize is overrated, the next thing in line is Vegas. <laughs> I'm a little confused by that. I think. But it, also, to be it fair, might not who have been likes Belize? Times Square remember. in New York? You know, I I like going to Times Square for the like feeling like you're a a tourist in the middle of the most like crazy thing you can see, the most like American thing you can see. But you're talking about like being in the green room at Good Morning America. (laughs) Yeah, I always love just seeing the world from green rooms. You know, rubbing shoulders. What'd you say? (laughs) <laughs> you know Hoda. Oh, Hoda. Yeah, Hoda. You know Hoda. Um, the thing I like about Times Square is that it's tourists, but then there's also just the, the normal New Yorkians are still, because like you go off a couple of blocks, and then there's like, it's just normal New York. It's like, so it's, it's not such a tourist trap feeling, even though it kind of is, but... I think most people... Vegas if, is more of just like its own pl- m- vacation mode place. And I think that Times Square gets a significantly <laughs> higher number of international tourists because I don't know, a lot if, of people go to New York. But if, if they don't, they go to Vegas. Country, so. <laughs> really? David I think, just whispered, I agree. I think Vegas is number two, though. I you agree. Know? Well, I've been wrong the last Subject. three, but I'm still going to go with, I think it's Times Square... And I think that if 19 million people go to Magic Kingdom in a year, they're just lining up to get in there. I think it's the Vegas Strip. I just think... I think it might be 22 million people go to Times Square every year. Okay, so... Because you don't have to pay for it. The last numbers... The numbers I have. Because it's very close. The answer is very, very close. Okay. But... Times Square beats out Vegas. So it was 50 million to 42 million. You all right, man? You okay? I Yeah, I'm, I'm great. I'm 50 a, million people 50 going million, through there. I mean, think about that for a second. It's a bustling spot. And I mean, and Las Vegas has like a little recreation of Times Square in like a little place, like a, a road. Well, a bird in the hand. Yep. Fill out the census today and you'll get a special store discount for Mythical Apparel.